Hello everyone, my name is Walt Disney and I was born on December the 5th, 1901 in Chicago, Illinois. Many of you all may know me because I created really complex and fun characters such as Mickey Mouse and Donald the Duck. Now, a little backstory on Mickey Mouse. When I was coming around the idea of making him and naming him, his original name was going to be Mortimer the Mouse. But I was convinced by my colleagues and especially my wife to change the name, hence why this character is now called Mickey Mouse. Which just sounds more fun and interesting to hear. So I'm really glad I came around my senses. Now, Hollywood's first feature length animated film was, that premiered was Snow White and the Seven Dwarfs, which me and my team produced. And it had its premiere at the Carthay Circle Theater in Los Angeles, California in 1937. It was an instant commercial success, which made me and my team really happy. Other of my animated films included Pinocchio, Bambi, and Dumbo. Now, around this time <clears throat> that I was making these films, World War II came around, and I want to believe that I was really involved in World War II as me and my staff completely pledged our alliance to the war effort at this time. Um, I produced short Donald Duck cartoons to promote the war bonds as well as creating anti nazism and propaganda films. Um, one of them was called Der Führer's, The Der Führer's Face, which I made in order to vilify and condemn the evils of Nazism and to show the American people how bad Nazism really was and how we should join the war almost immediately to defeat Nazi Germany before they did even more horrific actions. I also came up with another production at this time, which was called Education for Deaf. Which basically illustrated how the children in Nazi Germany were being taught by Hitler that the Aryan master race was superior and that they should <clears throat> fight and defend Nazi Germany with their heart. And he was just teaching them the Nazi ideology, which was just really, really bad. And this film showed that. And... By coming out with this film, I just wanted to show the American people how Hitler was just making these children believe that the Nazi ideology was right. And by this, the American people could then say, oh, Hitler is doing really bad things. He is really teaching these children such horrific ideology. Let's go join the war and defeat Hitler and Nazi Germany. So this was my idea behind all the Nazi anti-Nazi propaganda films that I made during this time. And during this time, there was also the Red Scare, which I was a part of. As I testified before the House of Un-American Activities Committee, how I believe there were many communists in my studios who were working against me, maybe. And I was just very, fear I was just very, very fearful that there were communists were behind the strikes and protests that were happening at my studios. Anyways, there's been all that behind. I eventually built Disneyland, which I deemed it as the happiest place on earth because people from all backgrounds of life, from basically anywhere from kids to adults to elderly can come to the park, visit the cart characters, ride the rides, enjoy their life, and forget all about their problems while they were inside the park. And in the 1950s and 1960s, it would literally cost you about a dollar to just go into the park. Now, many people say that my corpse is frozen and it's under the Pirates of the Caribbean ride at the studios, which is still not true. I don't know where these rumors came from, but rest assured, you will not find my body laying under one of the rides when you visit Disneyland. Thank you.